I'm going to highlight this story on my small little platform here for a few thousand people to see this, but it is what it is. But it's something that I doubt the mainstream media are going to talk about because it doesn't fit the narrative. But this is one of the most disgusting things I could imagine another human doing. And thankfully, it was caught on camera. And thankfully, the police did their job and have apprehended this piece of human scum. But this dude is just casually walking down the street and he decides to punch a 92-year-old woman in passing for no fucking reason. Unbelievable. This is the this is the most disgusting thing imaginable. Yet I'm supposed to feel sorry for people that were publicly intoxicated that were being respectfully talked to by police and then fought police and ran, stole a taser, and ended up losing their life on their own stupidity. I'm supposed to be outraged over that. Meanwhile, I got a fucking 92-year-old woman walking down the street minding her own business and she gets punched in the fucking face, but we want to defund police. Fuck all of you crazy motherfuckers. Let's watch the video. Absolutely ridiculous. Just casually like making sure I finished the job, making sure I finished her off as he's walking away. What a fucking piece of shit. Wow. That is fucking evil, dude. Like that is fucking evil. I don't even know the race of the old woman and it doesn't fucking matter. That is evil evil in every single way but you want to defund the police because out of 700,000 police there's a few instances that the mainstream media wants to blow out of proportion yet you don't want to talk about Tony Tempa the white guy that was killed by police you don't want to talk about Justine Damon the white lady that was killed by police no 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 you want to pretend that you care about police brutality, yet you don't talk about police brutality unless it fits your narrative. There are a few bad situations with police officers that need to be addressed, but the heavy, heavy, heavy majority of police officers are out there to do their job, arresting pieces of fucking filth like this guy. That's why I will continue to stand by police uh, in every single situation unless there is an obvious breaking of the law or a misuse of force like we saw in the George Floyd situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally do not stand by what those police officers did in the George Floyd situation. I also don't stand by what they did with Tony Tempa. But we don't get to talk about that, do we? Because it's not about police brutality. It's about the narrative that can be built around an individual situation. So fuck you and your narrative. Um, we also have Domino's Pizza. Uh, some, some fucking loser uh, named Rick Wilson, a blue check mark, attempting to cancel Domino's, getting 24,000 likes on Twitter because he highlighted a comment from... 2012, where Kaylee McEnany, um, McEnany, I always say, say it weird, but Kaylee is awesome. Kaylee McEnany, um, she is the pre White House press secretary for the great President Donald Trump. And all she did is, in 2012, Domino's is way better than any NYC pizza. In 2012, Domino's responds to her. And eight years later in 2020, a blue check mark wants to retweet this and say you killed your brand. You just killed your brand by tweeting something eight years ago. And thankfully, thankfully, Domino's responds and says, Welp, it's unfortunate that thinking a customer for a compliment back in 2012 would be viewed as political. Guess, guess that's 2020 for ya. Yep. Absolutely. And uh, this is, I just, I can't stand the going back in time and pulling up old comments and old tweets. It's ridiculous. 
imagine thinking that Domino's killed their brand today for something they did eight years ago. Fuck that. Ugh. So, yeah, it's been an interesting day. There's a lot more news out there, but those are the two that caught my eye. Um, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And um, that's where we're at. That is where we are in 2020, where everything and everybody has to cancel anything and everybody, no matter how far back it goes. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, by the way, by the way... Uh, geeksandgamers.com, our website, and obviously this is my personal channel, but I am the owner and the creator of Geeks and Gamers. So I do want you to go over to our website. A lot of time, effort, and money has been put into this website. I'm very proud of everything that my team has accomplished. Um, you can go and create a profile. Uh, this is uh, my profile right here. You can go create a profile, private messages, notifications, friends list. Uh, there's even a personal blog, and if you really, really want to support us over there, please consider becoming a premium member to the website. Uh, that is uh, the future of Geeks and Gamers, so if you're interested, please uh, go over there and uh, make that happen. Uh, at least create an account. Right now, I believe we're at about 15, 1,600 members right now um, overall, so 1,600, 1,659 people. We have forums, so you can go over there. We have uh, everything from entertainment to gaming gaming to uh, general discussions, current events, a meme section, toys, sports, theme parks, support and feedback. We have it all. So uh, I hope to see you guys over there in the forums. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.